question came up in class, what's the difference between fan static pressure and external static pressure? Well, if we just had a fan, then we'd read, what's the static pressure leaving the fan? And what's the static pressure entering the fan? You add the two together. That's the static pressure for the fan. But a designer can tell, figure out how much pressure he needs in the supply duct and how much he needs in the return duct, but he has no idea how much the manufacturer is going to use in a cooling coil, a heating coil, maybe a set of filters. Will the filters be this type, that type? All these things come into play at the manufacturers. So external static, he says, I want an air handler with an external static pressure of maybe two inches. So it's measured here where the air comes into the unit. And here where the air leaves the fan. So that's external static. How hard does it have to work to get the air to the fan? How hard does it have to work to push it away? If there's none of these components, then it's how hard does it have to work to get the air? If this were just a return air fan, how hard would it have to work to get the air? And how hard does it have to work to push it away? So the difference between fan static and external static is external static relates to air handlers and fan static relates to just the fan itself. Okay? Normally, in a balancing report, we'd include both for an air handler. We'd, we'd record the fan static pressure and the external static pressure. 